Who's this? Ain't she the one who attacked us in the capital? <sighs> you... you... Tyrea! What are you doing here? You're hurt. Do not touch me, vile girl! Watch it! Oh! Oh! Tyrea, what happened? Is she dead? No. It looks like she just passed out. Let's get her to the infirmary. Rhine! Come on, why me? Please. Is she okay? Her injuries aren't severe. When the Bionis awoke, the ether flow around the colony became unstable. Maybe that's why she lost consciousness. No, that's not what I meant. You mean, why didn't she become a Telethia? Precisely. For pure-blooded High Entia to become Telethia, the ether energy surrounding the Bionis has to be above a certain level. Luckily, the level of ether energy here is not as high as on the upper regions of Bionis. That may be what kept her safe. Or perhaps... Perhaps what? No. It's nothing. Something about this makes me feel uneasy. I know what you mean. We'll have to keep an eye on her recovery. Why does she hate you so much, Melia? You're both high end here. Is being pure-blooded really that important? Tyrea's birth mother is most likely my stepmother. You don't mean... Eumea? Yes. I heard about it from Kallion after I returned from the tomb. Mother was the leader of the Inquisitors, a secretive organization operating in the shadows of the Imperial household. The group plotted to maintain the Imperial bloodline through a clandestine ritual. A ritual where Tyrea was conceived. And she was secretly raised as an Inquisitor assassin. Hold on a sec. Are you saying that Tyrea is Kallion's half-sister? That's right. Then isn't she in the same position as you? Mm-hmm. That is correct. Tyrea! You're awake! <sighs> I had more right to the throne than she ever did. Were it not for the consort system that has so polluted the pride of our people, it would have been me, a pure-blooded High Entia, who would build the future of our people. But you... You are a hypocrite. Just like me. If we are honest, what is the difference? You too would take the lives of your own people to protect your bloodline. Melia, you too are nothing but an assassin. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm... I don't buy that for a second. Ryan! Pride of your people? How about you're jealous of Melia? <laughs> Do you really think I would be jealous of her? Ain't ya? You're envious of her, right? Of how she lives her life. You just want everyone to feel sorry for you, for being in the shadows all your life. How dare you? No hom speaks to me like that. I'm saying that you'll never have a life like Melia's. You don't have the faintest idea why Melia has been fighting. Even if you'd been born in her place, the Emperor still would have chosen her as his successor. Succeeding the Imperial line ain't all about blood. It's about taking on the will to do whatever it takes for your land, for your people, when the time comes. That's what makes Melia different from you. How dare you? Both of you, stop this. This is no time for pointless bickering. He's right. We survivors shouldn't be fighting amongst ourselves. Right, time's up. I want the room cleared out. Yeah, okay. And you. You need to calm down and get some rest. Ugh.
Me. Envious. I only think of my people. What is that? What's going on? Look! Over there! The colony! Telethia! Guys! She's gone! Tyrea, you mean? Could that Telethia be her? No. At least, I'm fairly certain. What? There's no time now. We must pursue it. It must be Tyrea after all. What do we do? Do we have to fight her? There's no time to think about it. Ready yourselves! Yeah. 
I know. Stop! Tyrea! You're safe! You do realize that Telethia is Eumea. <gasps> Eumea? I was pursuing Eumea. Even though she knew it was her fate to transform, she remained faithful to the Bionis. But why? Didn't she feel betrayed? Everyone has their own beliefs, and what they believe is their own choice. Yumea adhered to her path. I pursued her so that I could fulfill her final wish. Her final wish? Yumea was imprisoned within the Tower of Investigation. She told me that after she transformed into a Telethia, I was to destroy her as quickly as possible. She wished to sacrifice herself to the Bionis. At least, that is what I believed at first. But I now understand Yumea's true desire. That is why I must... This is my responsibility. Melia. Why? Father entrusted me with the Empire and its people. What I believe in is the will of those struggling to survive. I have to fight if I am to convey this to the next generation. Besides, Eumea is your birth mother. There is no need for you to carry out such an unpleasant task. Is the same not true of you? You may not be of her blood, but you still think of her as your... This is a duty that my father and brother conferred upon me. Melia. Tyrea, 
I believe you and I are alike. Alike? Never, vile girl. My gratitude for assisting you, Mayor. I mean, Mother. Tyrea. Well, there she goes. Is she going to be okay on her own? She'll be all right. We and Tyrea share the same goal. Our paths are sure to meet again. Yeah, you're right. Melia, what did you mean just now? When you said you and Tyrea are alike? Tyrea must be half Homs, just like me. What? But the wings on her head! Not all half-blooded Hyentia have small wings, only the majority. Some are indistinguishable from pure-blooded Hyentia. Dominant and recessive inheritance. I've studied this. So that's why. Melia, do you think you Maya knew this would happen? Perhaps. Actually, she had to have known. At least, that's what I believe. She was her mother after all. She must have been aware. Yes. <laughs>